Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In the previous video, we have seen how to make a fetch API request or fetch API call, uh, Ajax call using the fetch API request. We have seen it. And also we have seen how to get the res response headers, a list of all the response headers, how we can get it also we have seen. But unfortunately, what the problem has happened is we are unable to get the response data. So that is very much important, right? So that is the very much important one which we are not able to get it that is the response data output so how can i get the response output if you try to see here so this is the url which we are trying to make it if i copy this url and if i paste it at the next one and we are able to see that this is the simple json output so this is the api response which you are able to see this is a single object and this json object we are unable to get it how can i get this one and whenever I am trying to check this response, so instead of response.body, whenever I am check, trying to check this response, and you'll be able to see that what happened here. Let's try this. Hey, why, why this one is coming? Oh, we need to remove this array from response, right? So when I am, whenever I am trying to check this response, we are able to see that this response body is of type readable stream. So what is this readable stream is? The fetch API, what it will try to do is, the fetch API will not return the complete response at a time. You don't know how much huge the response object it is. So it will try to give you as a readable stream so that you can get the data. One by one, one by one, you can get the data and you can combine it and you can make the data. So like this. So it will not give you the complete data. Okay, why? Because it may, it may take the more bandwidth and the server response, it will be coming one by one. So like a packet. So like that is the main thing. So it's a readable stream. We'll try to discuss about the readable stream in the coming videos more. But you need to understand about this one. So that means, so then what I can do? So what I can do? So normally you know that this is a JSON output. Okay. You know that this is a JSON output. So why can't we use the JSON.parse and why can't we get this response.body? So okay, let's try to do it. So here I am trying to do JSON.parse of response dot body okay response dot body so this is the json response so if i try to see here and if i try to refresh this page see we are able to get this is not a valid json yes this is not a valid json we are we haven't get any json data we have we have got only a readable stream so that means json dot parse is not working so what can i do for this one in order to get the response so now you need to understand one thing that here notepad let's try to open this notepad so just we need to so we have we have seen about this json dot parse okay so we have seen about this json dot parse so this is a javascript built-in method javascript native method okay so this is a javascript native. this is present in the javascript you can use it wherever you want it and also another thing is this converts json dot parse converts the json string json string to the json object okay like a javascript object so this will convert the json string to the json object so that is the main thing so now how can we get this fetch api data so the thing is the developers and the browser came up with a good news that we have a method dot json okay so this is the method we are available it is not a javascript native method it is the browser so browser will give you this method so it will be available browser for the browser browser will give you this method and this method will convert this readable stream to the json name json data how it will convert let's try to see it so if i try to see response.body okay so now if i try to do response dot json so we need to use the json method so here it is available in the response only the, the prototype it will be available so now if i try to do the console.log console.log i will try to do console.log and if i see here console.log or response.json so if we try to see here again we are getting a promise okay which is in the pending state so the promise which is in the pending state so how can i get this one so now we got a promise that means response.json returns a promise so that is means why because it needs to wait until the total response needs to come from the come back from the server right 
so response.json what it will try to do it will take the complete response and it will take the body and it will convert it into json object so that means so this one returns a promise if it returns a promise we know that when the promise is resolved that then block will be executed so we can also use the chain promise chaining we have already seen so then you will get the data here and you will see console.log of data okay so now if you try to see the console.log of data and here surprise we got the data so now here we got the json data so that means response.json returns a promise which in return when the promise is fulfilled then you will get the this json data here okay so this is how we will be fetching from the response output okay so this is how you will be having and another thing before proceeding i want to explain you another thing that and another thing i want to explain is we can also pass the request headers to the fetch api also now we got the data response.json method now i hope that you have a clear understanding about this response.json method and also i want to tell you about that one about this so before closing of this session uh, we can also send the request headers to the fetch request how we can send it so let's say let's i will try to show you so we have a fetch request and you say that let's say that this is an uh, this is an website so this is a home page website so i will take this home page and if i try to open this will returns an html okay so i am calling this one so this returns the response okay so now here console.log response so let's see the response now if you see the output and here this is the output if i try to see here we are able to get the response and in the network if you try to see here so in the preview and all the six we didn't get anything why because so this one we are trying to call it we know that this one returns the html but the response stream it up to now you didn't get it so what i can do here in order to get the full response so you here you can call return response dot json and here i can use dot then of data and we can do console.log of data so now let's see how we can see the how we can get the output if you try to see here we got the complete response okay html thing and we try to print here but unfortunately what it is telling it is not able to convert so why because so here we are not able to so we are trying to think that the response what we are coming from this url is a json and we are trying to convert it into json and but that is the reason we are getting that it is not a valid json so now if you try to if you think that you are getting a response which is not a json other than the json you are getting so then what you can do you can simply con, uh, you can simply use the response.txt so that it will be converted in a text format now if you see the output what will happen see all the html has been consoled as an string data so now you can do whatever the thing you want so this is the thing how you can do it and now another thing is so now we know that uh, this one is written in html as this one is a home page url and if you pass some request headers, some may request headers like accept application slash json then it will instead of returning the html data it will return the json data so how can i pass this request headers how can i pass this one is so for example let's say that i am having let my headers equal to and here i can say my headers is equal to so it will take accept application slash json so we know that this retakes the my headers and here how we can pass this one is it takes the second argument which is an object and here you can pass headers of my headers that's it finish and now if you try to see the output so this time if you try to see the output let's see try to see the output the json data has been written as an text data why because it is you are trying to get the data as a text string if you want to get receive it as a json you can use json and if you see the output here we are able to get the json object right so very nice right so instead of, uh, instead of getting the html this time response we are getting the json and how we are getting this one is why because we are sending a request headers that is nothing but it will accept only the application slash json so because of that reason we are able to get the data so this is how we can pass the request headers using the fetch request so like this so depending on the output if you want to send any custom headers means you can send it like this so this is what how what about the response output how we can parse the response then the json method 
and all those things hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you